So today I'll show you something really really cool but before I do that if you haven't subscribed already make sure you do and join my discord server. So now let's begin with this. So over here you can see display now I have made many many displays in the past and each of them had something cool about them something unique. But this time it's not the display that I want to show. It is actually a camera. Now this might not seem or look like a camera at first sight but believe me this is actually a camera. So uh, let me just demonstrate how this thing works. Uh, so let me grab some blocks right here and now I will make uh, what should I make? Yeah everyone knows this so I will make this now I don't need to mention what it is but <laughs> I, I guess everyone understands so yeah let's let's test it so let me check the display as you can see the display is blank right now and if I just press this button you hear some really satisfying noises right there and then you get the image over here on the display now the image is depicted in the form of a shadow because well the image is captured as a shadow in the system so now let's try this out with an entity we did try it with a block now let's try it with an entity so I cleared up all those tridents you don't need to clear them up but I did because it looks ugly and looks like the pigment don't want photos so uh, let's do it and as you can see we just click the photo right there and uh, <laughs> now this is a really high resolution photo but I mean you, you, you can't complain about it I am I'm limited by the technology of Minecraft <laughs> so yeah that's that's how uh, entities look in the images so how this thing functions is somewhat like an x-ray so in x-ray you have a source of light which is a source of x-rays and then you have a receiver which captures those x-rays and in between if there is any bones in between then it creates a shadow on the on the receiver side and that shadow is then uh, transformed into an image which then gives you an x-ray scan of your body or your bones so pretty much here it's the same principle as you can see all the images we got on the screen were actually shadows of whatever we built on this side so that's basically how this thing functions and now in terms of redstone when you press this button the sticky piston pushes the observer sending a pulse on both sides. One pulse travels here. This pulse is immediately sent into the display. This is to regulate the timings and stuff of the display so that the display does not break. And uh, on the other side this redstone line uh, basically updates this observer and in a zigzag pattern all the observers get updated and uh, they detect this pulse and then other set of observers detect the signal passing through these observers and what this does is it causes the dispensers to fire in sequence so they don't fire all together they fire in a specific sequence uh, of zigzags and then these sequence what happens is um, these sequence allow redstone signals to be sent in in sequential pulses across this line and then those sequence of pulses is decoded back into image now this is called serial data transmission if you don't know what serial data transmission is or how it works I can't really explain it in this video as it will make this video incredibly long so I have other videos for serial data transmission you should absolutely check them out if you're interested in this and uh, 
yeah that's pretty much it so this this display over here it is actually a serial data decoder and uh, that uh, image thingy is actually a serial data encoder so yeah that's pretty much it so if you haven't already subscribed make sure you do join the discord server check out my other videos check out the videos related to serial data and displays if you're interested in this and that's it for today so see you next time